Hey guys, everywhere don't scatter as Peter B replies to Mai in an epic rebooter that he wasn't descended to his level of tribal politics. Nigerians, this is getting more interesting. Hmm. Peter will be the Labour Party presidential candidate in the last year's election as accused the Minister of Works, Engineer Dave Omai, of circulating false information about him, according to the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. According to the Daily Trust, Omai accused Peter will be on Wednesday of instigating some South Easterners against the federal government over the highway project. He said this in response to Obi's allegation that President Bola Tinubu's administration's proposal will cast uh, jobs. Obi stated on Tuesday that Tinubu is increasing unemployment and damaging tax paying projects using the $200 million landmark, the beach resort, as an example. Umayi, on the other hand, claimed Obi did a, did same thing while he, the governor of Anambra State, and he did not recompensate those imparted at the time. However, on, Tuesday, on Thursday, Obi denied dismantling existing roads and active components while serving as Anambra State Governor without, moni without monitoring Umayi by name. He urged that his actions as governor were purposeful, with a focus on repairing and maintaining existing infrastructure above ventures that could cause disruption and disaster. He also challenged critics to show where existing roads and companies were dismantled during his, his term as governor. Obi remarked that the contentious destruction and this destruction of jobs, destruction of jobs and livelihood related with the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road development stands in in stark contrast to its administration's attempt to improve infrastructure while minimizing negative impacts on communities while leading Anambra. He also denied allegations of inciting against President Tenable's administration, claiming the accusation is intended to run to ruin his image. I am to address these issues directly, devoid of political ethic, to ensure clarity for all. Let me be uh, clear on this. During my governorship, I made it bluntly clear that all structures obstructing existing route and uh, lacking approval would be removed. The circulated videos clearly stated this, and I only uh, initiated the removal when construction had already commenced. Any insinuation otherwise is a blunted mispresentation of the truth. I challenge anyone to verify and show me where the demolished structures on existing roads or ongoing businesses were not encroaching on the road and built without government approval. Why I serve as governor to provide further clarity. Consider concrete examples. I decisively demolished the Onicha North local government headquarters, situated on the only existing stadium relocated and built a brand new structure for the local government office away from the stadium will be set. Subsequently, the stadium was rightfully named after the first owner of the first football club figure in Nigeria sport, Chebu Ikbazo, as a tribute to our commitment to honoring our heroes. Similarly, the Onicha South Stadium, the sole local playing ground for the community, was converted into a local government office. Obi said that recognizing the importance of recreational spaces, 
he reverted to his original status by demolishing and relocating the local government office then renovated the stadium and renamed it after the longest serving Green Eagles captain, Gwadwin Achebe. This approach aimed to safeguard the livelihoods of Nigerians and ensure the efficient use of resources. It is crucial to clarify the false uh, compar comparisons drawn between my actions or Brewe Road and the current coastal superhighway project. I never proposed creating a new road that would disrupt existing structures. Instead, I focus on removing obstructions on existing roads to enhance accessibility and safety for all. The ongoing destructions and uh, disruptions of jobs and livelihood associated with the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road construction sharply contrasts with my administration's effort to improve infrastructure while minimizing diverse impact on communities. Regarding allegations of incitement against the government, I firmly reject these unfounded accusations aimed at tarnishing my character. My focus is on fostering constructive dialogue and inclusivity rather than engaging in decisive politics. Claims of incitement are baseless distractions. I have always advo advocated for unity and advancement, refusing to partake in reactionary, diversive politics. I refuse to be reduced to the level of those who wallowed in ethnic politics. Words say, I have never and I can never descend so low as to base my political aspirations on any sectional or ethnic interest. I stand by my record as governor and I reject any attempt to distort the narrative for political gain. My commitment remains unwavering to advocate for the rights and well-being of all Nigerians, ensuring that development initiative prioritize the needs of the people. Most importantly, I will continue to incite that our national resources to be appealed with maximum frugality will be said. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Thank you.